Well, hi kids. Today, I'm gonna do something a little different. I have been getting asked a lot, how do you thread a sewing machine? So, today, I'm gonna go step by step on how you thread your sewing machine, how to load a bobbin, how to insert the bobbin, and how to get ready to sew. So, um, if you have access to a sewing machine, let's go sit by it and uh, let's learn a little bit together. All of you that are in my sewing groups, um, some of you have already used a sewing machine and you know how it basically works, but you don't know how to thread it yet. So let's start there. So get by your sewing machine or get yourself a notebook and a piece of paper so that you can take notes that you'll understand. And uh, I'll see you back here in just a minute. All right, well, this is my sewing machine. The one that I use the most, I have several sewing machines. So the first thing you're gonna notice if you take it out of the box is that this is laid down. So you just want to pull it out. This is what your thread is going to go on. I have a spool of white thread here. There's a hole. You put the hole through there. And I actually have a thing that holds my thread on. So that just slides right on there, okay? So the first thing you're gonna notice is there is a diagram on top of the machine that shows you how to thread a bobbin. The bobbin goes down in this part right here, but you can see I have one in there right now. But we're gonna take that one out so that I can show you how you load a bobbin. So the bobbin cover is important. You wanna leave that on there. So I have an empty bobbin here. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how to thread a bobbin. So as per the picture, it says you come through this little hoop, you come around this, then you come up around this little hoop, and then I like to hold the thread down while I pull it into that little slot there. It needs to be snug in there so that it doesn't keep popping off and so that your bobbin winds up the right way. And what I mean by that is you don't want your threads all tangled and messy. You want them to be um, all organized and easy to come off of that bobbin as it's sewing. So in the bobbin, there are these little holes. And I take my thread up through the top of that hole and then you place it on. This is the bobbin holder. And then what you're gonna do, this is the stopper. So you push that over towards there Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that tight. I'm gonna turn on my machine, which is on the side here. And because it's not threaded down through here, that's not gonna do much of anything, okay? So, it's gonna come around here and it's gonna put thread on this bobbin when I push the pedal. So let me find my pedal. Moved out of the way, apparently. Okay, so I hold on to this while I press on my pedal. And as you can see, it doesn't take long to thread that bobbin. It's going to fill up quite frequently. What I do here is I go ahead, since it's mostly threaded, I go ahead and trim that string off so it's not in our way. Okay? I have my little bag down here that I use for a trash can. Okay, so when it's full, it will stop itself. That's what this little stopper is for. So you just press on the pedal. and let it fill up. You see it only takes a few minutes. All the threads are going up and down very nicely, so this will be a very organized um, bobbin. And there we go. So you slide this out, you pull this straight up, Go ahead and trim that thread. And then we undo what we did here. That is step one. That is how you thread your bobbin. A lot of times what I will do is, since I have more than one bobbin, is leave my extra one up there so I know where it is when I'm ready to use it. Okay, so let's get ready for step two. Let's see how to thread this. Okay, so once we've come around the front, you can see the two goes down, the three says come up, and inside here is that little silver piece that you want to make sure 
that this goes around. I need mine to come up. Okay, so then the next thing we're gonna do is thread it into the machine. I like to go ahead and trim off that little end piece so it's nice and flat and ready to go through. Okay, and I take my thread and I put it behind the machine. Now it's time for us to insert the bobbin. So the bobbin goes in this little door. You don't want to lose this door, it's very important. You take your bobbin and you put it in and then there's a little arrow and a little piece that you catch it around and then you lay it out like so. Now, in order to get both threads back here and be ready to sew, you want to hold on to this thread while you lower the needle with the wheel. It will grab that thread and then you can pull it right up through there. I don't know what, oh, I didn't release it all the way. And so it pulls right up through there, grab a hold of it. And both threads are behind the machine. We are now ready to practice sewing. All right, let's have some fun. Okay, now that we have our machine all threaded, by the way, this is the pressure foot lever back here. That makes this go up and down. It has little grabby feet right here that will grab your material. So I just grabbed a piece of scrap material and I'm gonna show you how I line the edge of my material up with the edge of the foot. I put the foot down. I'm gonna slowly push on my pedal, trying to keep this lined up. You can go very slow to learn what you're doing. You can speed it up a little. But you wanna keep the edge of that material lined up with the edge of that foot. And I'm doing this a little sideways, so this is a little hard for me. And that gives you a pretty straight stitch. My machine comes with a little cutter feature right here. So you just slide that through there, it cuts the string for you. You always want to keep your threads behind the machine. So now let's see what lining it up with a specific length will do. So let's say we want a one inch seam. That's this line. We are going to Sorry, get my threads behind here so everything's out of the way. We're going to put the machine down where we want it. We're lining it up with this and we are going to slowly sew, keeping our material lined up with this one. And that gives us a one inch seam. For most seams, I would do probably an eight to a quarter inch because the bigger your seams, the more material you're using up. So what I want you to do is just practice loading your machine, get it threaded, and then I want you to practice just doing straight stitch lines with just some scrap material. Just practice learning how to sew a straight line. As you can see, well, it's hard to see with that white thread, my seam is pretty straight, but even I'm a little crooked at times. So I'm gonna keep practicing. The next one, I'm gonna line, I'm gonna do the 5 8 inch seam. So I line this up with the 5 8 I am just gonna be practicing my stitching. So we're just gonna see what each one looks like if it's this distance, All right? Keeping that material right on the line. If you think you're going too fast and it's grabbing too fast for me like this, just take your foot off the pedal, slow back down. You can go as fast or as slow as you want with these pedals. Learn what speed you like to sew at. Okay, we raise the pressure foot up. Go ahead and trim off that thread. And there we have it, another straight seam. So, you guys keep practicing. Um, if you have any questions, please send them to me at the Boys and Girls Club site, and I will try to answer them for you. Nice.
I hope that answered some of your questions on how to thread a sewing machine. Um, like I said, it's very basic, very simple. If your machine is a brother like mine, it will have numbers that tell you where to take that thread to. You just follow the numbers until you reach your needle. Um, sewing machines have come a long way. They used to be really hard. Try not to set your tension unless you really know what you're doing, so you leave that alone. Um, have extra bobbins on hand. So go ahead and practice your straight stitching and we'll get together here soon and I'll show you how to make something basic on a sewing machine. Um, it should be a lot of fun. Get practiced up so that we could just get through it together, okay? Hopefully this is a new skill that you'll enjoy learning. Um, sewing machines are a lot of fun. You just wanna be safe. Um, these guards are to keep you from putting your finger under there when you're sewing. You wanna make sure your guard is on there. Don't press the foot any faster than what you feel comfortable sewing. If you want to go as slow as it'll go, you can do that as well. Make sure you use the foot and not the wheel so that you don't mess up your machine. Um, so yeah, hopefully I taught you guys something you didn't know. Um, let's get back together here soon and I'll show you how to make something. You guys have a great day. Stay safe, wash your hands. Love ya. Bye.